In Sabanur has been revered as a divinity ever since the beginning of civilization. Marvel's X-Men Universe's first and most formidable mutant, Apocalypse, combined the abilities of numerous other mutants to become immortal and unbeatable. After thousands of years, he awakens and finds himself disillusioned with the world. To purge humanity and establish a new global order that he will rule over, he assembles a formidable squad of mutants, including the dejected Magneto. With the assistance of Professor X, Raven must lead a group of youthful X-Men to defeat their greatest enemy and prevent the abolition of humanity. At the same time, the planet's fate hangs in the balance. And in our last X-Men movie list, we watched the recap of X-Men Wolverine Origins where we learned how Wolverine emerged and what happened. Is there any role for Wolverine in this movie? Let's watch the X-Men Apocalypse recap now, here at Movie Spotlight. Welcome. In Sabanur, a formidable mutant said to be the first of his kind ruled ancient Egypt around 3600 BC. Noor's health is failing and he will soon pass away. His destructive superhuman talents include cyberpath, telekinesis, teleportation and the capacity to enhance the abilities of the other mutants. He and his four minions, the horsemen of Apocalypse, are betrayed by conspirators during a ceremony in which his consciousness is transplanted into another man's body to get his healing factor, which means the young guy was a mutant and his powers would grant Noor immortality. The conspirator's sunlight blocking interrupts the transmission procedure in the middle as the pyramid falls in on itself due to conspirator's destruction of pillars supporting it. He is interred alive and his minions are slain in the process. One of the followers places Noor's new body in a safe casket and covers it with a shield to shield it from the failing debris before they both die. A kid named Scott comes up with his mutant abilities in 1983 and concussive kinetic energy balls erupt from his eyes. Shape-shifting mutant Raven or Mystic finds mutant champion Angel with the two enormous feathered wings on his back and Kurt Wagner or Nightcrawler, a mutant who can teleport in an underground fight club in East Berlin. Eric Lenscher or Magneto, a mutant who can control metal, resides in Poland with his wife Magda and their little daughter Nina. Finding that his younger brother Scott or Cyclops is manifesting his mutation for shooting optic beams, Alex Summers or Havoc, a mutant who releases destructive energy from his body, brings him to the world's most powerful telepath and pacifist mutant, Professor Charles Xavier at his Westchester County, New York Educational Institute. Scott is drawn to her after meeting the telepathic and telekinetic Jean Grey. Then Scott meets Hank McCoy, also known as Beast, a mutant with the Leonan features, prehensile feet, superhuman physical prowess, and Xavier. After seeing Scott's power, Xavier invites him to his institute. Moira McTaggart, a CIA operative researching the Egyptian Noor, visits his graveyard. Noor's cult endures, locates his grave, and orchestrates his awakening in 1983 when sunlight inadvertently falls onto the collapsing tomb finalizing the awareness transfers into the new body. There is a global tremor with the Noor's emergence. During the global disruptions created by N. Saban Noor, Eric is forced to utilize his ability to save a colleague from an accident in his factory where another colleague observes him. Same time, Jean alerts the savior about her terrifying visions of a dark power wreaking havoc worldwide. Savior encourages Jean as she continues to learn how to use her powers. To investigate more about what Jean has said, Xavier connects with the Cerebro and checks as suggested by Hank. Through Cerebro, Xavier navigates Moira and figures that the CIA is involved in something. So, to know more, they decide to meet her in person. Eric's colleague informs the militia about the accident and what Eric did. As a result, the militia arrives to apprehend him. They hold his daughter prisoner in the wilderness in exchange for his surrender. As tensions grow, Eric's daughter begins to exhibit mutant abilities by mentally summoning wild creatures from all across the forest and the cops accidentally kill his wife and daughter in the resulting panic. Eric murders the police officers out of despair. In Egypt, after a group of devotees awakens in Sabanur, he meets Araro Munro or Storm a mutant capable of controlling the weather and learns about humanity. Xavier and Alex consult Moira McTaggart, 
Xavier erased her memories following their most recent encounter since the end of X-Men Days of Future Past, and Moira is memoryless of him. Moira shares her intelligence with the Xavier, who informs her he has a level 5 security clearance. According to Moira's study, since the world learned about mutants in 1973, Cults have seen them as some type of second coming or divine indication. They named themselves Ashir in Sabanur after an ancient entity they claimed was the world's first mutant. They estimated that 10,000 years ago was when the first mutant was born. They believe he will ascend once more. They have been searching historical locations worldwide for clues. These hieroglyphs depict a set of abilities that are unattainable for a man. She also says that when he was close to death, people thought he could take on a new body and transfer his consciousness from one body to another. Some of these were mutant bodies enabling him to eventually absorb their skills and amass a wide range of powers. And this person always had four main disciples no matter where he was. He would provide his guardians with unique abilities. And wherever he reigned, there would undoubtedly be a catastrophe akin to cataclysm, an apocalyptic event that would mean the end of the world. Since he's been gone, Noor breaks onto the internet and discovers the entire history of Earth. He learns that in 1962, Eric was the first mutant to come forth with his identity. Noor feels that humanity has lost course in his absence and is determined to remake the world. To erase and reconstruct the universe, he enlists Araro Monroe or Storm and enhances her abilities. After Kurt is saved by Raven, he hires black marketeer Caliban to help get him to America. Caliban gives recent information on what happened to Eric and his family there. Hank gives Scott, our Cyclops, a mutant who fires destructive optic beams, a ruby visor, or sunglasses to stabilize and contain them. Kurt is brought to the Institute by Raven. In Sabanur enlists Psylocke, Caliban's enforcer, who directs him to Angel. Psylocke's talents include projecting purple psychic energy, typically in shape of an energy blade. In Sabanur amplifies the abilities, turning Angel's wings into the metal ones. Later, when Eric feels dejected, En Sabanur meets him and asks him to join him. Eric joins Noor after demolishing the town and the camp. Noor then brings him to Auschwitz, the place where Eric's power originally appeared. He reveals to him the full scope of his abilities. When Raven alerts Xavier about Eric's reappearance and warns him that he could be in danger, Xavier decides to search Eric through Cerebro for Raven. After locating Eric, Xavier has a conversation through telepathy. During that, N. Sabanur enters Xavier's head. Utilizing Xavier's abilities, he co ops the world's superpowers and orders them to send Earth's nuclear arsenal into space to prevent interference. All offensive weapons, including planes, submarines, and ground troops, are compelled to destroy themselves. Upon arriving at the mansion, Noor and his newly appointed lieutenants abduct Xavier. In an attempt to halt them, Alex inadvertently sets off an explosion that completely demolishes the mansion. After discovering he is Eric's son and hoping Xavier can assist in finding him, Peter Maximoff or Quicksilver arrives in time and uses his super speed to evacuate the students before the explosion destroys the building, but Alex is thought to be dead. Subsequently, Hank, Raven, Peter and Moira are apprehended by Colonel William Stryker's troops and sent to a military base for questioning. Noor controls the Savior's mind and passes a message to all people in the world, but at the same time, Jean receives a secret communication from Xavier informing her of his status. Using Weapon X, Wolverine or Logan, Stryker's mind-controlled and brainwashed experiment, Scott, Jean and Kurt surreptitiously follow and free Logan whose memories Jean partially restores. Following that, they release all of them. On the other side, Noor chooses a place that tends to be the center of the universe and builds a pyramid. Eric starts to destroy the entire globe by manipulating the Earth's magnetic field with his powers at En Sabanur's command, wreaking havoc and killing a great number of people. En Sabanur intends to utilize Xavier's abilities to subjugate everyone by transferring his consciousness into Xavier's body. To fight the apocalypse and his horsemen, the others fly to Cairo, 
where Saviour surreptitiously sends Jean a telepathic distress call. As they get closer to saving Saviour, he loses his hair. Kurt rescues the Saviour from transformation and brings him to the ship. Nightcrawler teleports with his teammates away from the plane in response to an attack by Angel and Psylocke. While Psylocke jumps clear, Angel appears to have perished in the plane accident. Saviour uses telepathy to battle him in the heavenly realm. Meanwhile, Scott assists them and distracts Noor physically. At last, the Saviour pushes Jean to use all her abilities, setting En Sabah Noor on fire. En Sabah Noor is tricked into turning on Eric and Araro. Psylocke escapes amid the turmoil that follows. After Saviour helps Moira regain her memories, their romance blossoms again. Jean and Eric assist in rebuilding the school, but Eric turns down Saviour's invitation to continue working as a teacher. Peter chooses not to reveal to Eric that he is Eric's son. Scott, Jean, Oraro, Kurt and Peter are the new X-Men recruits that Hank and Raven train using seized sentinels. Finally, men in suits come to the Weapon X facility on behalf of SX Corporation to obtain information on Stryker's study on mutants, including an X-ray and a blitz sample labeled Weapon X.